Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting problem based on number system. Now this question it says xn is a number in the form of 10101010101 and so on ending with 1 which has exactly n once. Find the number of possible values of n for which xn is a prime number. So what we can say if there is only one, let's say x1, what will be x1? x1 will be 1. What will be x2? It will be 1, 0, 1. What will be x3? It will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. x4 will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then x5 will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And x6 will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 6 ones. Now the sequence will go on like this and we need to find for how many values of n for how many values of n uh, this will be a prime number right. So what we can say the first one when uh, it's only one it's not a prime number right 1 0 1 we can figure out 1 0 1 is a prime number easily. What is uh, 10101? This number is a multiple of 3, right? This number can be written as 3 into 3 times 9, 91, uh, 1, 1, 3 times, uh, then 2, 0, then 6 times, and then 7, 3, 3, 6, 7. So this number is definitely not a prime number. Now, what we can say about this number? Can I write this as 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 10 to the power 4 plus 10 square plus 1, which can be written as using the sum of geometric progression. What is the sum of geometric progression? That 1 plus r plus r square till r to the power n minus 1 is r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1, right? Now, in this case, r is r square. The common ratio is 10 square. So, this will be 10 to the power 8 minus 1 divided by 10 square minus 1. Now 10 to the power 8 minus 1 can be written as 10 to the power 4 minus 1 into 10 to the power 4 plus 1 and 10 square minus 1 is 99 which can be written as 9 into 11. Now think about this uh, number, this calculation. 10 to the power 4 when divided by 9 will give us a remainder of 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 means this number is a multiple of 9, right? This number is a multiple of 9 and in that case, this must be divisible by 9. What about 11? What we can say, can I write down this 10 to the power 4 minus 1 as a 10 square minus 1 into 10 square plus 1. So, denominator 10 square minus 1. So, this will also be divisible by 11. Right now, the number, the factor which will be left after dividing this by 99, we, st we will still get a factor which is more than 1. 10 to the power 4 plus 1 is already more than 1. So, can I say this number will be at least product of two natural numbers which will be more than 1. So, in that case also, this will not be a prime number. This will not be a prime number. Similarly, if I take this one, this one I can write 10 to the power 8 plus 10 to the power 6, 10 to the power 4, 10 square plus 1, which can be written as 10 to the power 10 minus 1 divided by 10 square minus 1, which we can write 10 to the power 5 plus 1, 10 to the power 5 minus 1 divided by, again, denominator will be 9 into 11. Now, if we check 10 to the power 5 plus 1, so what we can say, we know that x to the power n plus y to the power n is always divisible by x plus y when n is odd, right? When n is odd, 10 to the power 5 plus 1 will always be divisible by 11, 10 plus 1. Or you can also check the remainders, 10 to the power 5, 10 when divided by 11 will be minus 1 minus 1 to the power 5 is minus 1 plus 1 will become 0. So, this this term will be always divisible by 11 
10 to the power 5 minus 1 if you divide 10 to the power 5 by 9 or uh, by 9 it uh, remainder will be 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 or 10 to the power 5 minus 1 can also be written as 10 minus 1 into 1 plus 10 square uh, 10 to the power 1 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 to the power 4. So, this term will again be divisible by 99 and in that case it won't be a prime number because both the times when you divide this number by 11 and this number by 9 you will get two different natural numbers as factors and uh, those will be greater than 1. So, this is also not a prime number. Then again we are getting this number as 6 where we have 6 once means this number sum of digit is 6. So, it will always be divisible by 3. So, that's also won't be a prime number. Similarly, we can prove the rest of ones, the upcoming numbers will be always divisible by 99, right? And in that case, it won't be a prime number. So, there is only one values of n which satisfy the condition that the number is a prime number, okay?